Hey Capricorn, it is tea and tarot time. So get yourself a hot cup of tea, hot cup of cocoa. I don't know, get something, get your favorite drink, whatever. A uh, bottle of wine. Notice I said bottle, not even a glass, but <laughs> a bottle of wine. Some of you may drink a bottle of wine. You know, <laughs> it's a possibility, but whatever so we just going to shoot the shit on uh, capricorn and see um just what's out there like what messages want to be heard <laughs> let's see what messages want to be heard all right where we going going good come on come on come on hold on y'all right, come on all right four cups like really like what is going on what is this four cups <laughs> Come on, what's going on, uh, Capricorn? Speak up. <laughs> Let me hear it. Like, what's what's going on? Like, I mean, is this something you don't want? Something you want to give away? Maybe, are you not happy? Is that what this is? You're not happy? Oh, you want to live your dreams with the Seven of Cups. Got the Four Cups. You're not happy. Hmm. You want to live your dreams. Small requests from the universe, right? <laughs> Give me what I want. <laughs> now. <laughs> I'd be thinking the same thing. The question is, what do you want? Right? You want fucking everything. <laughs> you got the star. Some of you, you want everything. I guess you feel like you deserve it, Capricorn. You work hard, right? You deserve the star. Some of you want the job that you want. Some of you want the, the relationship that you want. Some of you want the career. Like Some of you just want to live, right? The seven of cups. You just want options. You know? And for some of you... You want a star, right? You want your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, like everything. You was like, why ask for a little when I can ask for a lot? I like your form, Capricorn. You want the fucking star. <laughs> Some of you may be stars. Some of you may be stars right now. But you dreaming for something. You want something. Like this four of cups, this dude is like, I'll wait. I don't know if you can see him, but he's like, I can wait. I'll wait this out. I want everything, you know? I'll wait. I'll wait. Capricorn, that's some realistic shit right there. <laughs> I like it. Bravo. That's playing the universe at its game, right, Capricorn? Yeah. Knight of Pentacles, right? You really work for it. You work for your money, Capricorn, right? This is movement, right? Knights. They dedicated. Damn, this dude is dropping money on the ground. What is he doing? Yes, he is. This night is like, fuck it. I want this. I want to have enough, right? But some of you, you know, because it's night. This is, it's moving slow. So some of you may not like that shit. But nevertheless, I feel like um, it's coming in, right? Whatever you're dreaming of, you're wishing of, you know, whatever you did, whatever this is you want. Capricorn, because some of you want something. So the King of Cups, so yeah, right? You know, you got the King of Pen you got the Knight of Pentacles, King of Cups, and you got the moon here on the bottom of the deck. Fuck, it's all of this this lovey dovey energy coming in, right? You know, this mystery energy. You know, the images on this card, Capricorn, they, they're a little on the dark side. Like, some of the, they're beautiful cards. Like, I really enjoy the art on tarot cards. Like, sometimes that'd be the fun part because, like, you know, this guy, this knight right here, you know, he got a cat and a dog. He's dressed with his fucking top hat on. I mean, he literally got money. He got a book in his arm. So, for some of you, you're learning something new, started something new, could be working on things that are part of your dream she got the moon here with the king of cups you know this is a king happy the king of cups has what he needs like he's emotionally fulfilled 
right? And for some of you, you're taking action towards that. You want fucking everything, Capricorn. Damn, I have to write that down. You do want everything, don't you? Damn, I know I had a pen, but in order for me to find it, I'm gonna have to bend down, and I know y'all gonna be like, what is she doing? <laughs> Ooh. All right. Should we get more from here? Or should we just leave that there and see what else is, is there? Ten of Cups, yeah. You wanna be happy, Capricorn. Man, that's some bold and honest shit. I get it. Let's move on. Let's see what else is here. So I do have this one deck. I have no idea what the meanings of these are. So we're going to pick a couple and we're going to learn them together. Okay. So, but for now, let's get some tea leaves. Like, let's see. I mean, after all, we are having tea and tarot. So cha cha cha. Tea leaves, tea and tarot. Damn. I know that wasn't funny. All right. All right. Let's see, Capricorn, what we have. Since y'all want the fucking world, right? It's like, you want the moon too? It's just gonna go up there and just take it. All right, what else for Capricorn? All right, these cards can get out of control when you shuffle them, so you gotta take it easy. <laughs> it's claw. Be careful, do not take risks. Okay, maybe that's a message for you, Capricorn. Don't take risks. All right, so if you're starting a new business or you going out on some type of new adventure, like go slow, <laughs> you know respect this knight of pentacles listen to the energy that's here you know be careful don't take risks desk you gotta pay attention to your work okay so don't be doing no sloppy shit and for some of you i mean there is a direct energy capricorn for some of you that is telling you not to take risks with something here so whatever this may mean to you this could be you know your work area um it also could be like in matters of the heart because you got this heart that popped out here. Love, deep, affection, and caring. So some of you could be in a commitment with somebody where you could be taking some risks, right? Because you got the King of Cups here. So, you know, lubby dubby. King is here, Capricorn. Um, some of you could be deeply in love with someone. Probably the star right here, <laughs> right? That's a possibility. All right, let's see what else we have. Well, should we get some, um, let's get some, like, the wooden letters to see. We're going to get some names if this is, you know, if we start getting, like, love, 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 love then we're going to get maybe some letters. Um, all right. Ooh, seedlings. Oh, you guys are growing something. You're starting something. You got seedlings. Yeah, doing something you love. Dreams inspired ones too because that's a, the card 29 that's an 11 you know 11s are all about like oh today's 11 of a portal right yes it's all about that you know that heavenly stuff like what we're gifted with abundance yeah that shit that make you rich capricorn that's that's what these little seedlings are about here some of you are wanting to do the shit that make you rich like you getting yourself like legit in alignment capricorn that's what you're doing. Congratulations. <laughs> ah. Wow. Some of you getting your shit together with matters of the heart, with where you work, you know, doing some real stuff for yourself, like working on some new beginnings here with this to see here, growing something. This could be something you're inspired to do, right? Nevertheless, for some of you, because you got abundance here, Capricorn, it's going to bring you... A couple dollars so if this is something like if this is whatever something you create something you make whatever it could have to do with what is this, this is like feathers yeah feathers um whatever whatever you do it's gonna bring you you know a little multitude of coins here and it may be different levels for different people but for some of you this is something that you flat out designed or thought of you created it, Capricorn. And that's not for everybody, but it could be like anything in the area of art. You know, it could be anything, but all right, what else? I want like two more, but it's like, nah. I will fuck it. I want what I want. You know, I'm gonna be stubborn like you, Capricorn. I want what I want, do what I wanna do. 
I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, what else? What else? Come on. All right, we plucking y'all. Get it. All right. Um, hearts. So, yes, some of you are doing something you love, right? Some of you are moving and being inspired by your damn self of doing something that you love, right? This is a change that I feel that you have initiated. You know, you may have gotten a nudge from the universe, but I feel like some of you just was like, you know what? Gonna go chase my dreams you know and do something that you love the hearts here now there is a person here you know um so some of you this this is you know you got some type of relationship possible commitment here i don't know um and i see lots of love and abundance love and abundance time oh where is this going time me so much time is money <laughs> right capricorn time is money so for some of you you know you're starting something new you know something that you like but i feel like there is maybe like you know for you to pursue what you're doing you know it's gonna cost you time and it's gonna cost you money. But you got abundance here. It's gonna cost you to whatever you're creating here, the seed, right? This is whatever this is that's giving you money, you know, um, it's what you love for sure. But um, it may cost you time and money. Yeah, you know, we got coins on the bottom of the deck. Time and money. Oh, I do think we deserve one more. <laughs> this deck had a, this had a lot to say, little bits and pieces, however, but it had a lot to say. <gasps> Hands, something you're working on, right? Capricorn, whatever this is, whatever you're designing, whatever you're creating, I know you can't see this, but you're just going to have to trust me. It says, Hands, like, like, seriously, you're working on this and you love it. <gasps> Coins, back on the bottom of the deck again, Capricorn. Cha-ching, like, no shit. I told you, it's going to bring you money. <laughs> wow. I want a loan. No. What the fuck did I just say? I don't want a loan. I want some money. Okay? When this comes in for you, I want some. Did I just say I fucking want a loan? Who says that? We're going to take this though. Um, You are highly thought of. Ooh. Okay, Capricorn. There's this girl, I don't know, this may mean something. So it says you're highly thought of. So it's just a little bow, red bow in her hair, dark hair. It says you're highly thought of. I don't know, got a blue shirt on. Some of y'all may know somebody that, <laughs> hope they don't look like that card, but you, you get the point, right? Um, someone's thinking of you. Someone loves you, for sure, because you got that heart here. It's just there. If somebody's thinking about you, Capricorn. Ooh la la. The star. <laughs> Whoever's thinking about you, Capricorn, is a star, right? They're an air sign. You got Aquarius here twice. And guess what? You guys are gonna be successful in your endeavors, fam. You may not be happy here, because you know. I don't know. Some of y'all could have been gambling. Why do I feel that? I feel gambling here. Some of you could have took some risk with gambling. You left your pockets a little sad. Opportunity and windfall. Something beautiful is coming for you. Wow. Temptation will test you. Here we go. For what? <laughs> for what? Okay, so I did say, like, I felt like there was an energy here of gambling. Like, some of you could be taking risks, like, gambling. Like, I'm not getting into your personal business, but, you know, you got this apple here. You know, you may have been tempted. Some of you may be tempted to take some type of risk because here's my thing. You got to, you know, temptation will test you. Be careful of risk. And then you got this four cups under here. Like, this dude, you know, I mean, he's chilling right now, but... 
you know, um, something may be working out for you, Capricorn, but don't push it. Don't push it. I don't know. I see that message here for you. So I'm just going to say it like, don't, I, I don't know. We got a snake on here. So watch not every opportunity may guarantee success, but you guys do have success and a opportunity here that might bring you some good ass luck. It says dealing or relationship with a woman. Okay, you got two girls here, one older, one younger, both with dark hair. Could work with this person. Yeah, you got a lot of hopes and dreams of success and winning, though. For, for real. All right, what else? Let's see. All right, what else? What else? What else? What else? Huh. Where are we going with strength? I'll just kind of peek out in the other deck a little bit. All right, what y'all holding on to? Your money? What you holding on to your money? Ooh. Got the Empress, right? Holding back from something that, you, that is just... It's just rich. <laughs> nice. Like, what is this? Is this what you working towards? I know that's right, because you want everything. <laughs> For some of you, it's almost like, God damn it, I just can't wait. This is taking too much time. For some of you, whatever you started, you want it to grow. You're just like, how long is it going to take? I need profit from this. So this could be like a business or something. Now my sister going to call me back. She didn't want to talk to me earlier. Now. I'll call you back. All right. Now she calling back. All right. Three of Wands. Y'all waiting for your shit. Some of you, y'all just, I mean, you are tired of waiting. Oh, it's coming. You got the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Capricorn, it's coming. Like, okay, it's been a minute for some of you, right? It's probably been a, even a long journey. I mean, I don't, whatever it's been, doesn't really fucking matter. But, you know, okay, you know, you guys are working. You got strength here. So, you know, some of you just like, look, like, here you go. I'm just doing it. I'm going out. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to plant a seed. I want to wait for, you know, it to come in. Um, like some of you are just, you just want what you want, right? Look at the Empress. She got everything. It's probably going to get like cards of like patience, like hold on. It's like whenever you're eager to change something, Capricorn, which some of you are, or some of you are like waiting to see growth in something, don't take risk. <laughs> Whatever that means, you know, don't take risks. But you got the three of wands. I know you can't probably see this, but nevertheless, uh, three of wands, you're waiting for this to come in. Some of you are waiting for your, your dreams, your hopes, your wishes. Like, you know, like some of you are like, you know what? I want to be this and I want to be this now. I want to change this. I want to change this now. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready to see a profit, you know, if some of you have a business. Or I'm ready to start my business now. I'm ready to work on myself now. You know, shit like that. Oh, judgment. Some of you are really waking the fuck up. <laughs> some of you are changing a lot of shit. You're tired of fucking struggling. You got the seven of wands here. Like, you're tired of struggling. Tired of fine. You're waking up. I know that's right. Yup. You realize that it's better shit out there, right? You want to party right here like they is on the four of wands, right? You want your castle. <laughs> you want all the exotic pets, Capricorn. Some of you, I'm just saying, I'm not saying you're materialistic, but I'm just saying. I mean, you said it here in the reading. You, you want the stars. You're not playing. So some of you are like, you know, really resurrecting yourself. And bring in something in. That is nice. Let's get some more. Party time. <laughs> oh, we got the Ace of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. I told y'all y'all waiting. Seven of Pentacles. Like, you ready. You ready. You got the Ace, Ace of Swords here. Like, you're like, fam. Like, come on. I need some communication, right? I need to... You know, for some of you, if you're waiting for, like I said, if you have a business and you're waiting for communication or you're waiting for things to pick up, like some of you are ego. Some of you are waiting for something. I don't know what this is. You do. I personally feel like it's just an overall change for some of you. I think some of you have come through some type of hurdle. 
you know, in starting a business. Um, so for some of you, you know, there's a, there's a little, yeah, a little love here maybe, but for the most part, this is my change of self and growth and, you know, damn, that's a lot. All right, we just gonna take them though. God, what you, can we, look at this. So we got the Eight of Wands. Like, wow. Listen, there is a such thing of being selfish, Capricorn, okay? Now, first of all, you got the Eight of Wands. Calm down, right? Whatever it is that you're working on is coming. I don't see strength here, but I feel patience. You know, not strength. I don't see patience here, but I feel it. Like, I haven't, you know, you, this really needs to get off of energy. Or you guys can't wait for something, right? For some of you, you feel like this is owed to you. You know, and you're waiting on some type of communication, but damn, calm down, calm down. You know, whatever this is that you're working on, you're harvesting, like, you got a seedling and you got the this, this seven of pentacles. Like, these are all about harvest. Like, some of you have been working on something and you're waiting for a fucking response, whatever they may be. The wheel of fortune and you got judgment here. That says a lot, fam. Some of you... You know, for some of you, this is going to bring something very fortunate to you, I feel. I feel like a little bit of good luck. However, you do have the star here, right? You had the star here earlier, Capricorn. So I don't know what's up with you and the star, right? I don't know what's up with that, right? You just, you just, well, like I said, you just fucking want it. And then you guys had the star here. So godly, like, you know, you want what you want. And then top it off this fog this flew out too so i mean you got a lot going on here you want the fuck a lot the wheel of fortune damn <laughs> whoo this is amazing this is uh i mean this is some bold shit right here to be honest don't you guys feel like a bold feeling i feel like it's almost like you know capricorn you're like look i'm making i'm doing the work and I want to see a profit. <laughs> I mean, whether this is in a business or like your personal life, like I'm eating right. I want to, I want this return to me. Like I'm doing what I should be doing. Like I'm doing my time right now. I'm learning my lessons. I'm trying to change my life. Cause we got judgment here. Judgment is like, look, I'm changing my life. So some of you, you are doing life changing things. And some of that life changing shit that is occurring like what's bringing you this abundance and shit that's here you know it's for some of you something you do with your hands like you're bringing this you're drawing this into you and you are olded i mean the will is here you know fuck that you got me you got some heavy hitters here you got the will of fortune you got judgment like these are all majors guys you know and you got the fucking star like 30 times in this reading like you got some heavy hitting cards and fam magician on the bottom of the deck this is a lot of power on this 11 11 day oh my goodness six of wands like celebration success like victory like i fucking did it i feel like some of you capricorn you want to be fucking rewarded like give me what is owed to me and now give it to me now i don't have time to wait <laughs> god that's some that's some indignant shit god dang capricorn you're some bullshit I mean, but it's frank, right? You like, look, oh, that's way too many guys. No, you know what I mean? But you got the chariot. You got uh, the five of cups that flew out. This is too many for me. Oh, you got the full. I know I'm putting this shit back too, but you got the full here. And you got the eight of cups. So you got some good ones in there, but yeah, some of you are walking away, right? And right into a new beginning. Like all of those cards apply to the scenario here at the end of the day. You know, but some of you, you know, you're like, look, I ain't got time to waste. I don't want to waste any time. However, the universe is telling you to slow it down. Take it easy. You can't change things overnight. Y'all, I'm, I'm not going to get no more out of here because we got a lot. And that said a lot. Mm, mouth is dry. Like, I know y'all sipping y'all tea. I'm sipping mine too. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, my God. That tastes so good. All right, where are we going, y'all? Um, all right, let's see. Whew. God, I hope y'all still with me. Capricorn, y'all still with me? All right, we about to wrap it up. I promise you. And because I want to play, I'm going to get some of my, like, <laughs> puzzle pieces. And we're going to pull some letters in case, like, you know, first, last, initials, whatever. 
I forgot to do it in Aquarius reading. Oops. Um, okay. All right. I'm not even going to try to shuffle these. We just want to pick on Capricorn. So which one do we have for you? All right. I say this one. All right. Imagination. Love shit like this. I love the word imagination. It's just. I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. Okay, so it says, imagination. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. <laughs> yeah, dreams is all over this shit. Um, believe in unlimited possibilities. Wow. Flat out, hands down Capricorn, there is an energy here that is saying like, have courage and believe in yourself. Like, you can dream you know, you can work on your dreams. You got this card here, hands. Like, I'm like, come on, hands. Your cards with hands, your work. You can make this fucking happen. And you got courage on the bottom of the deck. And you got strength here. So believe that you can do this. Like, believe in your dreams. Like, push through, you know, those ideas and even those tough parts where you want to give up. Uh, Capricorn. Like, being real. Like, that's life, right? Like, seriously? Like, we just talking right now. So, yeah, polarity. Yeah, polarity. Like, yeah, we have those ups and downs in life, right? So it says, um, integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. Yeah, exactly. You know, nobody's fucking perfect at the end of the day. And who the fuck wants to be? Like, that's no fun. You know, so, you know, being imperfect allows you to constantly learn. <laughs> if you pay paying attention. Right? Not everybody's paying attention, so they walk around doing shit all day and don't realize shit. Right? They just walking in circles. <laughs> Not making fun of them because, you know, everybody has different awareness, right? Some people are oblivious to, you know, this matrix around them. And it just, you know, I mean, I used to be that way, but now when I look back on it, I'm like, God damn, was I really that dumb? <laughs> Did I really believe some of the shit that I was taught? Now, man, look, when you realize the truth that, you know, you can do what it is, whatever the fuck your imagination, you know, tells you can do, you can do and blow the fuck up in this world, right? Your whole reality starts to change. Like, it gets hard sometimes too, right? But you kind of got to stay in that flow, right, Capricorn? Sorry if I just went off somewhere, but I'm just preaching right now. So you got nature. I think that's what it says. Let me turn it around nature yeah ground yourself find a sanctuary in nature connect with the elements all right then y'all go outside for a minute right spend some time outside maybe you can think right for some of you maybe going outside calms you down right some fresh air nice long walk take a fucking hike you know whatever you know like float your boat right go outside it ain't gotta be in nature go go in the water whatever you like the sand like the backyard, right? Shit, sit on the step. Shit, it's refreshing sometimes. You know, just sit the hell outside and just watch. <laughs> you got intention, Capricorn. Intention. Be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your request to the universe. This fucking car is encouraging you to be even more. <laughs> more like you guys i mean this reading like i mean like some people will look at this reading and be like god damn or the audacity the way you guys like your expectations capricorn that you want and not that it's not bad like 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 family this is the some sort of real ass reading because this is what everybody wants for themselves now some of you are in the energy of just fucking expectation like i want what is mine i'm doing the work right i set the intentions and i want my reward like that energy is fucking here did we not discuss that Capricorn, we did. And then, right, right here, this card, right? It says intention. I know you can't read this, but just take my word for it. Family, it says right here, be bold with your request to the universe if you're already doing that. Should, if you get any bolder in the way you communicate with your wants and needs right now and your dreams and in your manifestations, if you, can, if you can get any bolder than you are right now, it's a bad motherfucker. I'm just saying. Like, I, we just discussed this, and here it is right here. You guys definitely, you know, are setting some dreams. Some of you are really powerful right now. You got freedom on the bottom of the deck. Some of you want to be free. 
you're sick of the mundane you're sick of you know i mean the first your first card out was the four cups you came in the reading refusing shit because you're like look that little shit that i've experienced in the past is for peasants right you know i i want i want everything i want my life to change hands down point down this is the fucking message you know here in the reading like you want freedom you want opportunity you want a nice life you know what i'm saying you want this star sign family one of some one of you out there one of you capricorns you want an aquarius bad as shit this i'm i'm saying i don't care girl whatever vice versa whatever if there's a capricorn out there that that is really 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 has an aquarius on their goddamn mind and for some of you you want to run away with them or an air sign All right, that's enough of that, right? I think I preached enough, y'all. What y'all think? Wow. All right. Um, let's move on. Let's get some of these uh these guys here. <laughs> oh god. Get the nine of pentacles, god darn it. I mean nine of cups. Wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. Wow, guys. Some of you are in a beautiful place. Ain't nothing like being surrounded with energy of mysticism, wishes, and dreams coming true. Some of you are really using your mind right now in whatever it is that you're creating. You guys are really putting your imagination into that shit. You're taking some time to really perfect things and to make them right for you, to make them beautiful for others. You know, that's what you're doing. And that energy right there is so creative and it is beautiful, Capricorn. I'm not even saying that to bullshit you, right? You feel it. Now you're making it up because you feel it. You feel it because it's here. Some of you know, like some of you want to do beautiful things, you know, for others. Yep. You have big dreams. <laughs> yeah. I mean... You got the Seven of Cups here. I'm sorry, y'all. We're just going to go off track a little bit. I just peeked down at the card. Like, this guy is on a, a hot air balloon. He ain't running, right? He's 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 literally being lifted away. And he got all these chalices on the side, you know, of his hot air balloon. And, you know, he got, like, this chalice in his hand. It's like a ball or orb, you know, sitting there. Like, this guy is going up there, right? He's like, look, I'm taking my imagination to the fullest, right? He got chalices full of shit. He got all his supplies ready to go. Somebody got everything that they need to work on, like what they want, their dreams coming true, their wishes. It's right here in the nine in the summer, Capricorn. Like that dude got all his shit ready to go. Every piece of equipment, every, you know, God darn crayon <laughs> to build what it is that you want that's gonna make your dreams come true. All right, let's get a couple more. Ooh, ooh. All right. I like this tea time. I mean, this is nice. This is nice. I really wanted to fly out. There we go. To a spring. A bright future manifested through hard work and creativity. I told y'all y'all work for this shit. Some of y'all legit work for this shit. You can't make this up. You know, a bright future manifested Capricorn through hard work and creativity. I told y'all y'all working on something and some of y'all put your imagination in this shit. Did I not say it? You can't make this up. Partnerships with others who share your dreams. Great progress ahead. Right. For those of you who ain't quite seeing the money yet, it's to come if you stick with this shit, right? You got courage. You got strength here. You know, don't quit. Keep going. Things will spring into life after a while, Capricorn, and you're going to be in a whole new fucking world, right? Whole new world. Yeah. Three of Autumn. All right, so we got the Three of Autumn. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. You fucking kidding me, right? This is just all we've been talking about. Uh, be the best at what you do. <laughs> Being compensated for your creative talents. I could just stop this reading right here oh my god 
I'm gonna read that again, Capricorn, right? This is all I've been preaching throughout this entire read. I'm out of breath trying to preach this shit to prove a point to you. And it's coming out repetitively in the cards. Like I can't ask for the universe to support me any better than that. Thank you. Yeah, fam, let's read this again. The Three of Autumn. You know, if you don't have these cards, I know you really can't see them, but you're just gonna have to trust me. This shit literally says, follow your passion when it comes to your career. We talked about this. Be the best at what you do, right? I already said you love this shit, right? So you're gonna be the best at what you do because you love it, Capricorn. Whoever you guys are out here creating, you know who you are. This message is for you, right? Or those going into this energy because you know what you have it in you, right? Be the best at what you do. Be compensated for your creative ideas. I told you. And guess what? You already know this. You know this. Nine of winter. Unfounded fear. Oh, y'all being punks now, right? All right. Focus on worse. Oh, oh, here we go. <sighs> okay. So, nine of winter. It says unfounded fear. Focusing on worst case scenarios. Following worry to grow out of proportion to a problem. Like, first of all, fam, come on. You got all of this positivity, right? All of this goddamn energy, you know, what, I don't know. What are you fearing? Like, I know you're not fearing nothing. And even if you are, I don't know, the car said to stop. <laughs> That's all I can say, right? You know how fear works, you know? It just, it's, it's debilitating, right? Allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. Whatever that may be for some of you, right? I mean, that could be a random. Who knows what that is? Nobody, nobody, nobody knows, nobody knows. All right. What else? Oh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, let's do these odd cards real quick, Capricorn. Like, we, these are the ones we're going to look up because I have no idea. So, um, I like that little tea conversation. We about to wrap this up, Capricorn. Um... I'm going to get a couple charms just for shits and giggles. And I'm going to get a couple of these little blocks after we do these. And I hope you enjoy, you know, our little tea time. So let's see what we can get out of here. I won't want to pop out. But I will pluck it if we're here too long. <laughs> All right. Wow. Y'all, y'all got some crazy stuff going on here, though. I don't want to say that. All right, it's time to pluck. All right, right, right. Which one? Which one? Uh, I hate plucking in. It's stressful. Let's see. All right. What the hell is this? Oh, yeah. It's on this side. It was just... <laughs> what is this? I don't know. It looks like... <gasps> Fucking star. I'm kidding you. Okay, look. So I know y'all can't see these cards, but look, these cards is crazy. That's why we're going to look up the meanings because I don't really know I'm like that. And today it was like my first day using these cards, but I'm blown the fuck away. I like these cards. I got to learn them. But um, if you could look at the card, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to try. You know, don't laugh at me. But the card is like fucking funky, right? You know, it has so much going on on both sides. Like, it's hard to really get a clear picture of what you're looking at. So these are the type of cards where you're going to have to, like, learn the meanings and then add to them, right? Because they do have a lot to tell. Like, they're beautiful cards. I love tarot cards. But listen. Uh, I know this card means the star. So guess why I see the stars? The stars in the wheel, right? This, you know, you got the wheel. You, it's just repeating this fucking stuff again. Something you're in a you're on a destined path with something, right? That you all oh, it's gonna really be good for you. I mean, may not be for everybody, or maybe it's on different levels, fam. But you got you got the wheel and the star. This is destiny. Like you do literally have everything in the spirit world right here to do what you need to do. And this card right here, we're going to look up, definitely is the star. I told you. It's the star running rampant in this reading. Hogging half, for some of you, shit, almost half your energy. Just like. <laughs> but I don't see not a negative card in here. So for some of you, you like it. You like it. You like the communication. You like the similarities. Yeah. All right. Let's just get another one. I ain't coming out. What the hell is this? Is this a journey? Looks like y'all might be going somewhere. 
This has card number two, so that's love, right? Got twos here, partnerships. Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, let's look this up because this is like probably it's a train on this card. It's kind of like crossing a bridge. So, man, some of you could be transitioning. Definitely, there's a transition here, but we can look these up. Let me stop japping and just look them up. I hope I can find a page. <gasps> Not a page. All right, sixteen. Hold on, Capricorn. We about to be out. You know, this is tea time, so y'all gonna have to like sit here a little bit longer, you know, than usual. All right, sixteen. It says stars. This is a positive card. It means recognition, success, guidance, peace, serenity, hope, light in the darkness, and something you can trust. This is a beautiful as tea time reading, okay? Seriously. Wow, fam, let's look up 22. I ain't lying. Y'all wanna see it? I can show you. It's a star. You probably can't see it, but I don't know. Zoom in. I heard like YouTube got a feature. You can zoom in now. Zoom in. All right. I wouldn't lie to you though. Um, 22. Crossroads. This is a neutral card, the book says. Options, decisions, choices, hesitation, going separate ways. Well, the going separate ways could put this in a whole nother fucking reading. For some of you, I do feel that energy where you have been with somebody before and separated and maybe come back. I do feel that energy. It's kind of creeping around, y'all. Um, Somewhere. Yeah, whatever. Um, Nevertheless, hold on. Let's go back to that uh, crossroads. So choices, decisions, hesitation. Like you had hesitation here too. Some of you are hesitant, you know, with something here. There is some speed here because you got the eight of wands here too. So, you know, um, some of you could be, I don't know. Y'all know how this applies. Like we'll be all, all night trying to put this together. But, you know, yes, there's a choice. There's choices to be made here. And some of you have made it already, right? You made the choice to live your life and live your dreams. Like some of you, you know, you crossed over the bridge that's on that car, right? You, you have officially stepped off the train and now you're into like, you know, a new you. But, you know, whatever it is, like, y'all need to make sure y'all handle the star situation because it's out of control. All right, so um, for some of you, 2021, the little charm says 2021. Some of you could have started talking to this person in 2021. <sighs> Whatever. Um, you got like a little, it's like a, a ship, uh, steering wheel thing whatever that is right y'all know what this is like you know the thing that steered the ship don't know what the hell <laughs> i don't know what that is and a seahorse this is like not that they're boring because these symbols may mean something to somebody but let's see what else oh it's a deer okay whatever a deer may mean you got a moon and you got a butterfly here capricorn thank you for entertaining me i appreciate it <laughs> and all right let's get some letters like all right, so a deer, a butterfly, you know, I got a moon, 2021, and a seahorse. These could be tattoos on some of you or, you know, I don't know. Some of you could have a tattoo that's a seahorse. I hope nobody has a tattoo that's a deer. No, it's not okay. Um, a butterfly, moon, and God, what is this called? Uh, nobody's watching these readings right now, so, you know, uh, <laughs> maybe one day somebody will be like, oh, it's a... It's no, it's not an anchor. All right, let me move on because this is like actually recording and I don't want to make a fool out of myself, Capricorn. All right, let's get some letters. All right, whatever they may mean to you. And then we go, because oh, I'm drawing this out. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we got. Nothing. There's fucking nothing on this block. All right, we got a D. So D may mean something to you. D is in dated. We got an E, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. a T. All right, we have an E again. Interesting. Uh, so that is a double emphasis on that. You got an X, whatever that may mean. You got an O, and it looks like an I, like whatever that is. So those could be letters, names, initial type things. You know what I'm talking about. All right, Capricorn, I am out. Um, I hope you enjoyed your beautiful tea time reading. Uh, like and subscribe 
Um, and I'll see you next month uh, for tea time. <laughs>